Ladies and gentlemen, we have been doing fraud lad audits on stream for a couple days now. And we've been obsessed, rent free in my head of why is this stat so weird, right? And finally, he has taken the bait. There are some spies, some snitches in chat responding to him. And finally, he has acknowledged my plan has finally come to fruition. And it's time to do an interrogation. This is not a drama video. I am simply bringing up numbers, stats, and my experience with YouTube anime reactions to prove and maybe not prove because we can never prove, but to suggest that Mad Lad of Culture is buying subscribers and buying views. Now, why? Again, okay, before we do this, do not brigade in with hate comments. We're not trying to hate on him. We're not here to hate. We're just trying to bring forth sussy analytics, okay? And now, why does this matter? It doesn't. It doesn't. This is dumb YouTube drama. We're fucking watching anime reactions. Like, who cares? I'm just, I'm just really petty. Because he tweeted at me on Christmas Eve Eve, calling me an idiot, which we will get to more of later. Right over here. His tweet, his Twitter, by the way, his Twitter, by the way. All right. But on a serious note, why does this matter? When a channel bought subs and views, these videos may be recommended to a more broader audience. Bigger number, YouTube algorithm thinks, huh, people might be enjoying it. Let's push it out. And what does this do? It eats away at the potential exposure from smaller channels. When people see big sub count, big viewership on a YouTube video, they're more likely to give them a chance, click on it and watch it compared to a small channel. This potentially hurts the growth of small creators due to botting. But let's get serious. I don't really care about that. I'm just a petty motherfucker, right? Like, like this is potentially true. And I'm trying to lay out some actual reasons on why this might be bad. But let's get real. I'm just a petty motherfucker. Example number one, and these, I have some evidence listed from one to eight, okay? And we're going down in the order of priority in what I think is so condemning to my claims that he is bonding. Examples on Social Blade. Now, do you guys know what Social Blade is? This is a very helpful site that lists YouTube creators' monthly viewership. Most of their stats are pretty bad. For example, estimated monthly earnings, right? For my channel, right? Mo estimated monthly earnings, yearly earnings. These are not very accurate. But what is very accurate is the sub count and the total views. I want you guys to look specifically here in my channel first. Look at the total subscribers weekly and the viewership weekly. Notice how every time that my viewership has gone up, the sub count also spikes with it because it just makes sense. If you're making a video and it does well and people are compelled by that content, they're more likely to subscribe to that video, correct? If we go down here, again, another pretty nice chart to kind of show you, right? Monthly gain in videos views, monthly gained subscribers. As the views go up, subs also go up. This is the natural stat for any channel. But MadLad is very suspicious. Notice over here. Why did these spikes happen? You notice this? Notice how on the total subscribers weekly over here? Notice how it's just flatlined. It's completely flatlined. Then it has these random spikes. Insane spikes that I've never fucking seen possible. And, but look at the views. The views does not change. In fact, he was getting more views in the tail, in, in the beginning quarter, right? Look at this shit. No subs, but the views are pretty good. But as the subs went up, the views did not go up this is extremely suspicious behavior and one could assume that he is buying subscribers it's a very easy thing to do we've already talked about it on stream and again just another chart monthly gain videos views for mad lad of culture the viewership is like flatlined there's no growth it's just maintaining but the subs immediately fucking spiked on august 2023 without a direct correlation in viewership pretty suspicious and this is my most condemning evidence but we got a lot more we got a lot more number two lack of engagement on his videos and community posts examples jellyfish video we're going to compare fraud lad versus fuanza okay first of all let's see this this is Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night, episode one reaction from Mad Lad of Culture. He uploaded this five days ago and it has hit 2,600 views. And you know what? That's pretty fucking good. If you look at Jellyfish reactions on YouTube, this is one of the highest viewed videos.
But if the video did so well, why does it only have 32 likes? If you don't do YouTube like me, you're not gonna think much of these likes. But a good average viewer to like ratio is always 10%. And I can pretty much prove that. If you just go through, I don't have to prove that right now. You go through my videos or any other actual creator, go look at their views, go look at their likes. It can range between five to 10%. 5% meaning it's all right. 10% pretty good. Above that, you're doing fantastic. 32, 2.6. This should have minimum like 260 likes. This is so suspicious. And then I pulled out another person's same reaction. This is a channel called Fuanza. Lego con un capitulazo, yoro no kurage o wa oyagena capitulo on reacción my spanish speaking creator has created jellyfish this is the japanese word for jellyfish okay and look this is a real channel with real fans 738 views 79 likes 10 percent this is an example that i brought up of many examples that we've done on our stream with fraud lad audits where i check his videos and i look at smaller smaller creator he's not even small he's 20.5 thousand subs but to show you what the stats look like when you actually have a community, okay? So boom, we got that. Another thing on top of the lack of engagement is the 40K celebration post. Oh yes. Mad Lad of Culture, one month ago. Today, we hit another milestone. Thank you all for your amazing support for the past six years. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. Continuing support for my videos. Let's now all aim for 50K! Damn, that's a huge milestone. 40,000 subscribers, that's amazing. But why is it that a community post celebrating some huge milestone, it has two comments and it has 22 likes. Does this make sense to you? And here is where I come up with another example. My own community post. I posted this dumbass fucking emote. I, I posted this dumbass fucking emote four days ago. 78 fucking comments. 193 likes. Seems kind of weird. And you're going to say, well, you might have brigaded this. All right, fair enough. So instead, I'll go to my channel. I'll look at a community post. And I'll look at something that shouldn't do very well. For example, this snafu post right here. You know what I'm doing here? I'm plugging my Patreon saying, hey, look at snafu season three. I'm dangling it in front of you. Patreon exclusive, pay up. People don't like to hear that. Usually Patreon ads never do that much engagement on YouTube community posts. 370 likes. So don't you think that it's a little weird that a channel that's grown so great, 40K subs, is getting 22 likes with two comments while I can be fucking around doing dumb shit and people like it a lot more? It just doesn't add up, but again, these are all just little suspicious events, right? There's no proof. I'm just bringing forth some examples to make you really think, right? And again, we've already liked, we already talked about the likes to views ratio. Number three, suspicious growth of videos being stuck at roughly 100 views for like the first initial 12 hours plus, then fucking spiking without an increase in engagement. Unnamed memory example. Unnamed memories. Guys, Mad Lad of Culture is watching Unnamed Memories. This is our native isekai weekly show we're watching. Go check him out. Maybe he has great content. But notice how for 16 hours, he was stuck at 150 views. There's nothing wrong with that. This is not me saying, wow, what terrible viewership. I would never make fun of somebody trying their utmost best, trying to grind and do content creation because I've been there. I've been there when no one was watching. But take a look at this. 16 hours ago, 150 views. One day ago, meaning minimum at least eight hours has passed. 1,934 views. And if you don't do YouTube, you might not think much of it. But let me explain to you what is going on. And I'll bring you my specific analytics for my own unnamed memory reaction. Here's the stats. Looking good. The video got whatever, whatever. This is what I want you to focus on. Look at this graph. This is time passing 
with views increasing. It's always this kind of thing, right? Within, when did I hit 150 leagues, right? When did I hit 150 views, right? Madlat took 16 hours to get there. If you look at here, boom, boom. First one hour, 215 views. In the first hour, I was able to get 215 views. And then slowly it trickles, it trickles. You can see the numbers rising and it's always a slow ramp up just like this and it plateaus. To show you an example of what's going on, you see the green right over here, right? You see the green? Here, let me, let me, let me do another example, right? Let, 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 let me do another example right over here, okay? This is how things are supposed to look like. This is the natural growth of any YouTube video. But what Mad Lad's doing is this. Watch. He... Look at this shit. He just chills for this range, getting nothing. Then it fucking spikes, always. And I've noticed this every time because he lives rent-free in my head. I admit, we're doing fraud lad audits to make content out of him. This happens to every single one of his videos. Now, if it happens to one video, sometimes an example like this does happen when you have a brand new channel. And here, I am here to now plug, I'm here to plug. <laughs> My second cartoon channel, and I'll give you an example just to prove that this is possible, okay? Cartoon channel called Call TV2, guys. If you watch cartoon, go subscribe to it. But this video right over here, 1,000 views, right? When you're brand new, it takes a while for the algorithm to know who your audience is. So sometimes it will do something like this, where it goes like this, and it does this. It does this, and it does this, bro. It is so suspicious. And if you don't believe me, let me bring up. Let me straight up just bring you the analytics of Angel Dust Broke Me video, okay? Again, I'm gonna be very thorough in this video. I'm gonna be very thorough so Mad Lad has a chance to prove his innocence by defending himself against all of his claims. Here is the analytics for this. This is the exact behavior I'm talking about. For a brand new channel, sometimes the YouTube algorithm does test it. Notice this? For the first one day and 17 hours, I was around 166 views. But then the algorithm decided, let's push this video out. And then it went from 160. Boom, 457. Then it starts to slow grow. Spike again. Notice the spikes. It does happen, but very rarely. Very rarely will the algorithm sometimes push your content out to a wider audience to kind of understand exactly what your channel is about. What is your niche? So again, another example to prove that what Mad Lad's behavior, right? This, it is possible, but for every video, I think that's extremely suspicious. Now, what is number four? What is number four? Claims that I am insecure and hating because jealous. Oh boy, all right, all right, here we go. We have a rat in our stream, by the way. There is this rat who actually took my bait so well. I let out the cheese in front of him with a rat trap. And this motherfucker is just in my chat going, oh, this guy's fucking talking shit about Mad Lad of culture. I'm gonna snitch. Here it is. Where is he? This guy right over here. Mr. Surya Radika Jiela. I kind of cut off the rest of the comments. It's in his Konosuba video. But basically, he responded to Mad Lad's video saying, hey, Kaka TV, he's fucking harassed. I'm not. I'm talking about the numbers and assuming that what he is doing correct, I'm just... I'm just talking about the numbers to see if you can defend it, right? He must be jealous then. Well, if it gets too toxic, do let me know and I will have a word with them. Please, please have a word with me so I can make a second drama video and farm you even more. If he keeps bantering me, this is not bantering. I am calling the numbers out. Then I just live rent free in his head. True. Uh, he does live rent free in my head. True. To show you, I am massive. I don't think you're massive and I'll get to that point later. To be honest, I don't care what he does if he keeps doing like this. But then karma will get to him one day. Karma will get to him one day. Isn't it amazing how ironic it is? The projections from the guy himself. I am waiting for karma to hit him. But thank you for letting me know, by the way. And thank you for the support as always. You're right. Karma will get him. And if someone is constantly criticizing us or belittling us, it means they're afraid of our growth. Growth, huh? Past month, 200,000 views for a 42.5k sub channel. Past month, reaching 700,000 views for a channel that's nearly four times smaller. Why would I be jealous? Why would I be insecure? I am not insecure. I'm not jealous.
Why would I be jealous of someone that's nearly four times smaller than me in viewership? I'm not jealous. I'm just petty. Because you started this shit. I'm so petty, more petty than Sakaya and Gyarisu. You kicked my cane, and I'm here to expel you, okay? Claims that he's using the YouTube promote system. Now, I just see a comment, and oh god, he just keeps digging his own grave, bro. He just keeps digging his own grave. Where is it? Where, where, where is the one where he said, uh, here, let me go to my Discord. Let me, let me, let me bring up a screenshot. Hold up. Uh, he, he, uh, basically says, he can't, he kind of defends himself by saying that, uh, yeah, right over here. If he thinks I'm buying subs and views, all I am doing was using the YouTube promote system. That helps me get my videos out. Okay, and, 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 oh, we're gonna stop there. We're gonna, let's unpack this. He's supposedly using the YouTube promote system that helps me get my videos out. And yes, that does exist. Now, let's think about this for a second. Let's critically think about this for a second. This explains the spikes in views while having no engagement. Remember, his videos keep spiking, but the likes are so abysmal for a community that apparently is so big. Because tourists, and what is a tourist? A tourist is exactly what it sounds like. They're not a regular community member. You promoted your video, random people are clicking onto your video. Those are tourists, right? This, however, contradicts the sub spike. As if people are truly enjoying his content, wouldn't they like and sub to his channel? The YouTube promotion does explain the boost in viewership without the lack of engagement. However, this does not explain how the subs keep spiking. This straight up. This means that the lack of engagement would not cause the subs to spike. So why did his subscriber spike? Well, we can just go back to the social blade example. I don't have to... I don't have to tell you. I can just show you the chart. I can just show you the chart of the subs just spiking up and down without a change in viewership. Straight up. Like, you should be able to interpret this graph in the way that I think is happening, right? What's the next point? Claims he never called me out and commented only once on my channel. And this is actually true. This is actually true. Actually, it's, it's half true. Half true. Let's go back to our, our rats, uh, our, our rat, Mr. Surya. Thank you again, by the way. I never once mentioned him or call him out. To be honest, I don't call any reactors out. So I don't get why he is coming after me. Also, I only commented on this video once and never touched his channel again. On December 2023, 8.07 a.m. This is Christmas Eve Eve. This is the time in the year where you're supposed to be resting with your family. You're supposed to be hanging out with your felt loved ones, you know, your family, your friends, and enjoy this downtime as we gear into the new year. But what was Fraud Lad of Scams doing? He was tweeting. I still can't believe some certain idiots at Kaka TV Called it the greatest revenge anime ever for clicks, and you might not really understand because I, 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 I'm giving you the edited version. There's a new version. See the latest post. He basically removed the word idiot because he, he was like, shit, maybe I shouldn't say idiot. Called it the greatest anime ever ended for clicks. This anime has been shit since episode two, and Lord, I hope we don't get a season two. And yes, the finale I was asked. If you don't know what he's talking about, let me get a better picture, right? We're talking about this uh, anime called um, basically uh, Kingdom of Ruins. It doesn't matter. The anime doesn't matter. The, what matters is that he claims that he never called me out, but he straight up calls me an idiot, then spreads misinformation, saying that I said that this is the greatest revenge anime ever for clicks. Couple things to unpack there. First of all, ever for clicks? Everyone does this. This is our fucking job. You make clickable titles, you make clickable thumbnails so that people click onto it so they can watch the video. You do it, I do it, everyone does it. On the first point though, Greatest revenge anime ever for clicks. Where is the example? Ah, here it is! The best revenge story of the year! Question mark? Question mark. This is questioning. Is it the greatest? I don't know. And at this episode, I still stand by my point that this could have been the greatest revenge anime. But if you actually watch my reactions, go check the playlist. Go look at the other videos. By the finale, I'm like, holy shit. This is so fucking ass. So why would a guy that is so bigger than me, why would a guy that apparently, you know, 
He's saying that I, he lives rent-free in my head. I think that I live rent-free in his head. Because he's straight up tweeting at me on Christmas Eve Eve. And this is when my channel is way smaller back in December. And on the topic of living rent-free, we're not done yet. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let's finish. Let's finish what he said. Also, I only commented on his video once and never ch touched the channel again. This is a lie and a truth. Because some of you might, some of you guys might not notice. This is my second channel on anime. YouTube reaction. The first channel got deleted due to copyright strikes. Some of you may know, some of you might not know. But when I was very small and I was doing classroom of the elite reactions, a lot of people enjoyed them. And this isn't me saying, wow, I'm the best coat reactor ever. But a lot of people were commenting stuff like that. Mad Lad of Culture commented on my video. He says, I think he said something along like great reactions from a fellow reactor. And I gave him a heart because I was like, wow, as an up and coming reactor and this, mind you, this is before I'm like even at like 1000 subs. I was like, wow, a big creator is reaching out, collab communicating. This is crazy. So I, so I hearted it. I was, I was like, oh my God, this is great. And then he commented again. In fact, he kept commenting on my other videos. To those glazers in my chat saying, you're the best co-reactor ever. And he started typing shit like, why is he so great? So doesn't this kind of sound like I'm living rent-free in his head when I was much smaller, when he was already at 10k plus subs, right? Like, why would someone go out of their way to go to a small channel and respond to fucking comments asking, why do you think this guy is the best co-reactor ever? I think this is full of insecurity. I'm not insecure. I'm petty. I think fraud lad of scam. I think fraud lad of culture is uh, insecure. Okay, we've already talked about this. Now, those are all the claims that I am bringing forth. And again, we cannot ever prove that he's buying subs, buying views, until we get the actual receipts from whatever vendor he is. This is something we can never get. So again, we can never prove this. But I can bring a lot of evidence to maybe make a claim that's happening. Now. Here's another topic. How to cheat better so it doesn't look suspicious. Okay, most important thing, you need to start buying that extra tier, whatever vendor you're using to buy subs. You know how these subs, you know, you know there's like, oh, with this extra package, you can, you know, buy subs. You, you can get um, natural looking growth in subs, views, you know, stuff like that. You need to get a tier that gets you more likes because it is so suspicious how every video that spikes in views, your engagement stays low. Number two, don't let the bot spike the views immediately. You can't have this happening. You need to naturally grow like this, okay? This is what you need, okay? Stop making the videos spike immediately. Let it slow drip, build up, okay? And finally, buy more views on old videos because the reason I get more views than he does, right? Despite him being so much bigger, let me explain to you. The more I think about this, the more it makes sense, right? If you actually look at his channel, his average viewership on most videos, it is so good. 8.9K Data Live, 2.8K Konosuba, right? 4.6K, every video he, he gets out there, they're all so fucking good. It gets like 5K, but the engagement's suspicious, right? So I wanted to ask myself, for a channel that has 4,000 videos, why is he getting less views than me? And you know why that's the case? And I will show you with my analytics right now. And it has to do with old videos. Do you guys know how many people actually, like when a person clicks onto your video, they don't just watch that video when it's done, right? Because right now, sure, I just uploaded some videos, right? I just uploaded some videos and all you see is like me averaging one to 2,000 views, right? Great. But even if I'm averaging one to 2,000 videos, how am I getting nearly 700,000 views per month? Doesn't make sense. It actually does. Because everybody that clicks onto a video goes back to old videos and they watch them. Look at this, bro. High school DXT. This shit's from fucking August 2023. November 2023. This is from April. What other videos are there? This is from March, right? There's a lot. This is the data live one. This is from May 2023. Most of my viewership does not come from these new videos. They come from the backlog of videos that people all watch. And then you ask yourself, does it make sense that Mad Lab would do this well on each video, but no one watches his old videos? Why? Because they're bots. Bots simply go to a video at a given time to spike the views. 
They don't go back to old videos in the playlist. They don't watch them. This is why I naturally have more viewers than him. Because he doesn't actually have a community. You think he does? He doesn't. Wake up. And finally, I'm not here to spread hate. I'm simply showing the numbers and saying that it doesn't make sense. I also want to prevent potential smaller creators from being eaten away in views and exposure because of Mad Lad's potential scams. I did not start the drama. I simply respond to drama. Case in point, this right over here. I'm not also insecure. I'm just a very petty, petty motherfucker, okay? And again, keep an eye out on his latest uploads and check the likes, the views, and check when it spikes in views. His most recent video, Windbreaker. Bro posted a Windbreaker video six hours ago, 90 views. Keep an eye on that because I guarantee you tomorrow, this shit's gonna spike and this 15 likes, it's not gonna get that 10% ratio because they're all bots, okay? And finally, please respond to this video fraud lad of scams and defend yourself against all the claims that I've made in this video because facts don't need to be defended. They are simply proven over time. And if you're so confident that you're not a fraud and if you're confident that you're not cheating, then it shouldn't be hard for you to prove your innocence. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it. Again, I'm not here to spread the hate. I'm not shitting on Mad Lad's content. I've never seen his reactions. If you're a fan of his reaction, go watch him. Go support him all you want. But what I am talking about and what I'm shitting on is the potential, you know, illegal things that he's doing by buying subs, buying views. And this hurts other creators in the space. He said that he's going to willing to take some measures, right? He's saying that, oh, if he doesn't stop, I'm going to have to do something. What are you going to do? Call the cops? Because right now, this is what's happening. You've committed a crime and you're saying that you're going to cop cause the cop on me. Please do it. Because that's what I want to know. I want, like, if you, if there's mad last snitches in my stream, expose this video. Expose my content. I want the word to spread because you know that you can't defend yourself. And again, if something happens to my channel, if I get some kind of community guideline strike, if I get some kind of copyright strike, it's probably going to be from mad lad of a, you know, culture. So we'll be again doing fraud lad audit, audits. We're going to keep doing this. And that should do it.